I'm Kathleen. I am a library aide here at the Great Northwest Library, and I'm here to recommend books. Vampire Academy graphic novel. Uh, we only have the second one in for the series, but if you like, don't want to read a whole novel in like 300 pages, like it's a quick read. I don't know if how many people like the classics or if they don't like them and would still like to read them though. There's the Sense and Sensibility in manga form. So it's a little different. I just read this one recently, Baba Yaga's Assistant. It's about, I guess, Baba Yaga's family. Like if you are familiar with the Baba Yaga, it's, she's a witch who uh, lives in like a chicken leg house that moves. And I think it's like a Russian folktale. Uh, if you've heard of James Patterson, like some of this stuff got turned into mangas too. Bakuman, but this one's really awesome, the series. It's about um, these two like kids, like basically becoming friends and creating manga together. Behind the scenes is a cool manga. It's about this kid in high school, he's very like artistic and he's very like pessimistic. So like you see like him basically find his group of friends. Library Wars, absolutely have to read this. I haven't been able to get through all of it. I only read like, I think the first one actually, but it's really interesting because it's about like, the banning of books basically and then like fighting to preserve like history. So this one, Called oh my gods it's like very humorous like and if you like the greek gods or like it's a different spin on it this one is awesome diana Wynne jones she created howl's moving castle like uh the book i don't know if you guys seen the anime but uh like they did turn into a movie slash anime and it's like pretty awesome both the book and the movie so this is the second uh book to Howl's Moving Castle, but I think it can stand alone. I only started this book, but like, I was really interested in the play, so I wanted to also see what the book was about, and yeah, it follows the main character, the Wicked Witch, who obviously doesn't actually start out as a Wicked Witch, but she's just a normal girl who was green skin. But yeah, so it's basically her adventure from the Wicked Witch's point of view instead of the Dorothy. I thought that was really fun. So this is one of my favorite authors, Nalini Singh. She is awesome. Like so many, so many books. But all of her books, I think, at least a good portion of them, like both her Side Changeling series and the Archangel series is all on the Libby app. Like E audiobooks and ebooks, so you can listen or you can read them. Lana Andrews, uh, she creates a lot of like, well, hers, I think, feel it's like mixes, also mixes like science fiction and fantasy together, uh, like the worlds themselves. Like with this one, like this series, like she does like a lot of like back and forth between like the magic interfering with the technology. If you want to put anything on hold, it's going to be at mysapple.org or if you want to call Central Library, it's 210-207-2500. And thanks for watching. Hope you'll read some of these books.